Today's presentation of Tom's Hit Parade is sponsored by the wholesome hearty goodness of Roadkill Helper. The taste is unforgettable. <music> Greetings one and all and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. It is time once again for Bargain Bag, my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures where I open a pair of mystery CD grab bags from a local store, Skips Records and CD World in Eugene, Oregon. And in between the two grab bags, I, op I review a uh, CD that you may be likely to find in a bargain bin, or that I did find in a bargain bin. And uh, usually it's a CD that is well worth the pittance of a price that you pay for it. Uh, but before I get to the new grab bags, I am going to briefly go over what was in the old bags. And by the way, I keep forgetting to mention this in my videos, if you happen to want any of the CDs that I'm showing you, about to show you as my cast-offs, uh, let me know in the comments of this video or uh, send me a direct message on Twitter. We can make arrangements. Uh, I can send them to you. I won't ask for a penny in return, not even for postage. So uh, just if something sounds good to you, just let me know. Uh, I, I only keep these for about two weeks after uh, the posting date of this video, so keep keep an eye on the video date. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, first of all, Voice Squad is a trio of uh, Irish folk singers. You know, traditional folk tunes mostly. They're perfectly okay at what they do, just not my thing. You know, uh, Unprepared. This is a jazz duo, and they do, I mean, I, I like jazz except for the freeform or uh, improv style jazz that I kind of jokingly refer to as pointless noodling. And that's what this is. It's just, you know, it's just not my thing. They're, they sound okay at what they do, just, yeah. Uh, a lot of these things are actually going to be not my thing. You're probably going to hear that phrase a lot in this video. Uh, no Man is a, it was a major label act in uh, 1993. And how do they describe themselves here? Uh, a magical mixture of dream pop, art rock, and moody mil minimalism. I don't like that kind of stuff, again. You might check them out. Or as I said, if you want the CD, let me know. Uh, Tender Idols, it's your basic alt rock from the, from uh, the year 2000. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Most of this stuff, unfortunately, is meh. Uh, then we have Peter Blakely. He is a uh, Blue Eyed Soul singer, early 90s Blue Eyed Soul, uh, with just a little bit of New Jack Swing sort of a sound mixed in, and that was kind of peppered throughout a lot of stuff back in, uh, yeah, 93, but anyway. Yes, if you like New Jack Swing, you might like this, but as I said, it's not a lot of New Jack Swing. It's just a little bit of trace of it. And this one, Andrew Jones and Spirit House. This was kind of interesting. It was sort of a mix of, you know, the tropical-type Jimmy Buffett stuff with um, Cajun music. So it's almost as though Jimmy Buffett had grown up in Cajun country or Dr. John had grown up in, you know, the Florida Keys or whatever. So, And also, this guy puts a really low-pitched growl on his voice, which it sounds like an affectation. It doesn't sound genuine, so that's kind of distracting, honestly. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, Polara is another kind of a grunge or post-grunge sort of thing. Yeah, post-grunge, I think, is our thing. Or Again, meh. And yet another post-grunge, meh, is the note I had on here. Mother May I. This is another one that's uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, Expanding Man, this was kind of, this was sort of alt-rock. Uh, it didn't really do much for me. Uh, I mean, it, it's okay. It's just, you know, I've listened to so much music over the years that some things really have to kind of stand out for me to want to keep uh, keep the CD, hang on to it. I'm actually going through a CD purge right now, so I kind of don't know why I'm doing these bargain bag things, except it's just so darn much fun, even though I'm going to end up throwing away seven-eighths of it. Uh, and uh, Skeleton Key. Now this was kind of post-punk with a funky kind of a twist to it. Kind of like Red Hot Chili Peppers. So if you like Red Hot Chili Peppers, I think you might like these guys. Skeleton Key is the name of the band. Uh, and then we have, we're getting toward the ones that I, I'm feeling like I'm going to keep. I'm going to hang on to at least for a little while. Nuclear Valdez or Valdez. I'm not sure how. We, I, actually, I think it's Valdez because the uh, band members are Latino. And yeah, semi-Latin rock with, uh, with again, a little bit of New Jack Swing, but not distractingly so. But yeah, I'm, this is, I think, their second album, and I'm actually kind of liking this. I think I'm going to hang on to it, and I'm going to 
maybe seek out their first album. So, And then a few other keepers that I've decided to hang on to, at least for a little while. Uh, Wertico is a jazz band. Uh, Paul Wertico is the front man for the group, and he actually used to be a part of the Pat Metheny group years ago. So, uh, yeah, and uh, this has some kick-ass drumming on it. That's one of the things that I noticed. So, uh, Sam Bennett, you're a drummer, and you appreciate drumming, so check this out if you, uh, if you can. Find it online. And then uh, another one we have here is uh, Old Pike is, uh, they're kind of a Heartland Rock sort of a thing, kind of like, oh, John Mellencamp, maybe, uh, Springsteen, possibly. So, yeah, pretty good stuff there. I'm going to hang on to it, see if it grows on me a little bit more. And Mundy, this guy is, he's kind of a uh, folk rock singer-songwriter, I guess you'd say. And I guess a couple of the songs on this album were in, uh, you know, TV soundtracks of the time, probably, oh, I probably Dawson's Creek or... You know that kind of stuff maybe Buffy the Vampire Slayer it says so on their Facebook or on their excuse me their, um, Wikipedia page I can't remember off the top of my head but uh, yeah these guys were pretty good I think this one will grow on me so yeah so yeah a few keepers four I've decided to keep out of that group of uh, 14 so not bad so now without further ado do let's get into the first mystery grab bag and I think I'm gonna actually tear it open instead of scissor it open just for dramatic effect. Except I don't want to uh, see right away what I'm getting. I don't... There we go. Sort of neatly open. What can I say? Okay, first CD in this group. Jacked. I have no idea what this is. As has usually been the case with these bargain bags, most of the stuff I have absolutely no idea what it is. So. Yeah, Jacked Trauma Records. Uh, the copyright date is covered up on the by the sticker, so yeah. give it a try. Oh, and this one is still sealed. Symposium. A riotous hellspawn of punk rock mayhem. Symposium are the best fucking live band in Britain. Fact. What more do you need to know? Well, they need to know what I'm listening to, so I'll, I'll give it a listen and... I honestly, you know, punk rock has just never been my thing, so I'm not holding out hope for this, but what the hell. It won't kill you to listen to something, will it? Hmm, interesting. I'm guessing you pronounce that a foi? Dream Juice. Interesting title. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, possibly R&B. Maybe with a bit of world music thrown in. I'm always up to listening to something a little, you know, outside the box. Uh, the Throws. I think I've heard of these guys. Probably haven't. They look a little, they look a little sullen on the cover, don't they? On the back cover. 1995, so uh, post grunge possibly. So. Yeah. Illusion. I have no idea what to expect from this one, so which will make it all the more interesting to listen to. So, I'm guessing pop, they kind of look like uh, what, the Pussycat Dolls or Spice Girls. Or, which in that case, it would be a disappointment to me. I've never been able to get into those uh, girl groups. But uh, Fruitcake? I've never cared for Fruitcake. But then I haven't listened to this CD, so I, who knows. Give it a try. And the last one in this bag. Sleeper, the It Girl. Looks like a uh, co-ed or mixed gender group, which I am totally uh, game for. Why should all groups be all men or all women, right? So yeah, looks like an interesting bunch of uh, CDs for the first grab bag. Now, for, as for the CD I'm going to review today, it is Free All Angels, the third album by Irish rock band Ash. Now, I mentioned this CD briefly in my review for Ash's latest album back in, what was it, in August or September? I think it was during the summer sometime. Now, I first found this CD at a music store that was very close to where I worked back in the early 2000s. They closed in 2005, unfortunately. But that store had a stack of sealed, new and sealed copies of this CD, probably a dozen or more, 12, 15 copies, and they obviously had had trouble getting rid of them because they marked them down to $1.99. So, obviously, I had nothing to lose but $1.99, so I picked it up. And it took me by surprise how fantastic this album is. Now, Ash are, 
I think they're often lumped in with the Britpop acts like Oasis and Blur, but I've never been able to get into any of those groups, and none of their albums have ever come anywhere near as close to winning me over as this one did. I mean, you could basically put this album on shuffle mode, and you'd almost certainly end up hitting a great song. That's how packed this album is with good songs. Now, one of my favorite songs on this album is Shining Light, and uh, that might be most famous here in the States for uh, the cover version that Annie Lennox did in promotion for her Greatest Hits album in 2009. Uh, she did a great version of it, but honestly, uh, covers are rarely better than the originals, and that's the case with this one. And uh, there's another song on here called There's a Star, and that is probably the most Britpop sounding track on the album. It actually reminds me a bit of the Verve's Bittersweet Symphony, in, in the fact that it's got a bunch of strings in the, uh, in the background for accents. Uh, another great song on here is called Burn Baby Burn, and it's a bit more of a punk-leaning song, and I think Ash kind of started out as a punk band, and with this album they injected more uh, mainstream rock into their sound. And uh, the opening track, Walking Barefoot, is another really, really good one. And on this album, the band experiments a little bit with uh, electronic elements, uh, particularly on the song Submission, which it's yet another standout track. And it actually reminds me a little bit of the Chemical Brothers, uh, partly because I've been listening to their latest album uh, recently, and I've, I've liked the Chemical Brothers for a while. But yeah, this uh, when, I, when I was listening to this earlier today, that just brought the Chemical Brothers to mind. That's a very, very good track. And uh, they also do a little bit of sampling, like uh, most notably on the track Candy, which is a great ballad. It's probably the best ballad on the album, without question. Uh, and then uh, there's a song called Sometimes, which is a mid-tempo track with a really infectious hook. And I mean, that's another thing with this album is you won't believe how many hooky songs there are on this album. It is just, like I said, it's just packed with great songs. You've got to check this album out. Yeah, if, if I'd have known this album was as good as it is, I'd have spent way more than $1.99 on it. I wouldn't have been disappointed paying full price for it. So, yes, uh, Free All Angels by Ash. You've got to check this album out. You, uh, if you like rock music at all, in my opinion, uh, you can't go wrong with this album. So, anyway, that does it for that album review. And now let's go right on into the second of the two bargain bags for today. And let's... Uh, Let's rip it a new one, shall we? And, uh, okay. Let's see what we got in here. We have Snow Cone. The album is called Stay. have no idea what to expect from this. The, uh, that cover picture is kind of uh, cryptic, wouldn't you say? And then we have Dale and the Dragons. Because why not? Uh... Dale and the Dragons are not what you think. Well, I don't know what to think, so that kind of narrows it down. Uh, but now, yeah, I'll read this later. That's a nice little blurb on here on the back. So, yeah. Lots of indie releases in this bag, apparently. People Who Must. Lost Wire Transfer. And I'm not sure which of those is the name of the group and which of those is the name of the album. Yeah. The back cover picture doesn't give much of a clue either to what's in this album. And then we have Fundamental, Seize the Time. Oh, this one was released on Atlantic Records, or a subsidiary thereof. Uh, yeah. White Gold Burger, that's the name of the final track on the album. Dog Tribe is the first track. President Propaganda, that sounds like it has some political overtones to it. So this could be an interesting album. So, yeah. Oh, when was it made? 1995, so it was before George W. Bush, so... Caribbean Rhythms. Pan Spirits. Yeah, this is one I'm not holding out a lot of hope for. Yeah. I've never cared a lot for soca music or that kind of stuff, which looks like that's what this is, so... But as I said, and I've said before, and I've said, I will say again, it never hurts to listen to anything. Oh, here we go. I just said it never hurts to listen to anything. Extreme for Jesus. Worship. No thanks. Honestly, I, as I said before, I, you know, I don't begrudge uh, people who are Christian, you know, in general or Christian music in general. It's just, it's just not my thing. Okay. No offense to anybody. Just, 
and then the last CD in this bag. Oh, here we go. Da Booty Snatches. I just read the title. I'm not going to say it, so uh, I'll just let you look at it. I'm sorry if you're offended. I find it rather funny, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, enough said. Um, anyway... <laughs> Oh, what a way to end the video. Um, I'm glad I did that bag second, because if I did it first, I probably wouldn't have been able to finish the video here. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's it for this bargain bag, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, and uh, I appreciate feedback, uh, whether about this video or anything on my channel or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter, and you can find a link to my Twitter feed in the description below, so check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to visit my friends and fellow YouTubers' channels, which are also linked to in the description below. They're all great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.